Howdy guys. Look, I got two videos out in one day. Holy shit. Or at least I uploaded a video today and I'm already making another one. It's about 9.30 in the morning on Sunday. My favorite day of the week. Now, I'm not really religious. I don't go to church on Sunday. Well, your traditional church on Sundays. This is where I go. This is Old Overgrown, my airsoft field. And I'm out here today, and it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, I can guarantee it. So, this is what I usually look like when I walk around during the day. So, that's why I call myself the Redneck Gentleman. But I showed you this. I don't know if I'm even in the shot at the moment. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. But, now I'm going to go ahead and jump into my uh, airsoft gear. should only take a couple minutes. And I'm going to show you what I look like when I'm in full ghillie mode. Because out here folks call me Wookie Gilly, the bush, uh, bush Master, or the Bush Monster. You'll realize why in just a moment. Okay, okay. How the hell do I do this again? Oh yeah. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. And voila! I am now the airsoft version. And you see why they call me either a Wookiee, Gilly, or a Bush Monster? I don't know if you guys can even hear me at this point, because this. There we go, now you guys should be able to hear me. Now. If you look closely, you can see I have a 1911 here, a Glock here, a Beretta here, another Beretta here, a revolver here. Oh, I forgot my broom handle. I'll be right back. Where'd you go? There. And I've got my good old broom handle pistol. A magazine right here. Room handle. It was right here. Underneath that slate. Thank you. Yep. As you can see, I travel pretty fully loaded. And this is a uh, EBR. It's a variation on the M1 Grand M14. It does have a box magazine, but I don't usually put that in until uh, either people get here or we're in a game. What the box magazines look like. Can't get it out of my pocket. There we are. This is what the box magazines look like. Now this is a mid cap, which means uh you pump it and the spring goes back up through here and that's how many rounds it can hold. Now a high cap, because I don't know how many of you who are watching know about airsoft. A high cap is this one. As you can hear, it's a lot more uh, rattly because it keeps a shit ton of ammo here in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it comes up through here and you spin this little wheel on the bottom and if you listen, You wind it up, that way you can just keep firing and you can hold a hell of a lot more ammo. Now I am going to want to put this here. Back in there, get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Come on you piece of shit. Get over here. Can't reach it. I got too much shit on. <laughs> Alrighty. Come on, get in here. Get in the pocket, you piece of shice. Take that magazine out. Which one is this? That's a Beretta magazine. Come on, get in there, you piece of shice. Never had that much trouble putting those damn things in there before. Holy crap. Alright. Now the Velcro will stick to all of this shit, unfortunately. 
So I'm gonna move, I'm just rearranging uh, how I have my mags in the pouches. Cause this one that I showed you, the mid cap one, that one is for accuracy, has different ammo in it than the rest of my stuff, damn it. Go in the pouch. Never had this much trouble putting this shit in here before. Anything in there? Is there anything behind there? What the fuck is going on? Get in there, you piece of shit. There we go. Ah. There we go. Now I can put the mid cap in the furthest back pocket. Because if you look, that's where these are being held. You guys probably can see. That's what usually happens. It usually just goes in right like that. No idea why I wasn't doing that before. Oh, well. Basically, why I'm making a video of this today. show you a little bit of what airsoft is because not a lot of people know about it and it's a sport that is uh gotten a lot of bad rap because people take this shit and uh perform illegal crimes with it and that's not surprising look at it, it looks like a real fucking gun that's one thing i love about airsoft as well is the realism of all of the uh things which is something i hate about paintball and airsoft is a hell of a lot cheaper than paintball, that's for sure. This pistol only cost me about a hundred bucks, and it's a pretty decent Glock. It's made by WeTech, which is a really good brand. And I've had it for about a year or two now. It runs on green gas, and that's a, it's like propane that you put into this little uh, nozzle bit here in the bottom. Let me get this magazine out here so I can show you. See this little hole right here? That's where the green gas goes and it has a little compartment in here that it fills up. And in there, down in there, right about here-ish, there's a little hammer that will hit against here. And then this will just cycle like a normal firearm. This is called a gas blowback. There are ones that are non-blowbacks, like a broom handle for example. The slide doesn't actually move. Everything is contained within here, and this is as far as it goes, but this thing is super accurate. It's awesome. There are a few different types of uh, airsoft guns. You have your CO2 powered ones, which take those little CO2 cartridges. You have your green gas ones, then you have your electric guns. A lot of your uh, battle rifles, M4s, AK-47s, a lot of those are going to be AEGs or all electric guns. At least that's what my hypothesis on the definition of that is. I don't actually know. I've been airsoft for almost 10 years. What's that tell you? <laughs> Most of your rifles are going to be either uh, spring or electric. Now, there are guns that do run on the uh, CO2, or rifles that run on CO2 and green gas, but they are wicked expensive. You're spending three to $500 on one of those. But I want one so badly and I'd be willing to pay that for one. <laughs> but that's because this is one of my most beloved passions that I do. And I still got to cite this in. I just put that there on there last night. So I've still got to cite that in. But you guys are going to see some uh, fun today because I'm going to be all sneaking around being stealthy. No one's going to see me. Let's see if this... Uh, I just put a battery in. Let's see if it's uh, charged. It is charged. And as you could probably hear, I don't know if you could, so I'm going to walk over and just do it again. That's, what it, that's all the sound it makes. And I'm going to grab that magazine. It's in here with my Resident Evil Samurai Edge night or Beretta here and this is a gas blowback as well I traded uh, what did I trade for this where the hell did I get this I don't remember where the hell I got this but it's awesome either way and I love the uh, Beretta because it fits so well in my hand a lot like the 1911 
And my 1911 is not a modern looking 1911. World War, or well, original 1911 design. I absolutely love it. And this again is WeTech as well, or at least I think it is because it takes the WeTech mags. I have no idea what brand this actually is. Actually says 45 ACP Auto over here. Now a lot of uh, airsoft guns will not have all the official engravings and stuff that you normally see on uh, shit. That way it uh, is harder to use it uh, to try to hold someone up. And if you look down the barrel, which you should never do, you'll see a copper little uh, barrel in there. And that's one way you can always tell if it's an airsoft gun because it has that little copper barrel in there. And the receiver looks like that. The magazine looks like this and they shoot these little six millimeter BBs. But this is one of the, uh, this is that Glock I told you I got for about $100 at Air Splat when they were in South Center. Unfortunately, they closed now, but there's another one that just opened up that I found about found out about yesterday that I'm planning on uh, going and dropping by. All right. And if you look on the side of this one, it actually has the G18C uh, tactical on there. That does not happen very often. And you actually have the WeTech thing here on the side. And it says, made in Taiwan. A lot of your airsoft guns are not going to be made in the U.S. Mostly China. And Taiwan makes a lot of really good airsoft guns, by the way. Or at least that's what I've noticed. Er, I want it cocked. No, I don't. What am I thinking? And that goes back in that pocket. Are we still recording? You guys still listening to me? Yes, you are. Good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. There's going to be another little jump and I'm hoping this is working. And next thing you see, you're gonna see me probably in a battle or right before one saying, hi everyone, look, it's all the airsofters. And I'll see you then. See ya. Well, it's not gonna be see ya immediately because I gotta go hit the pause button, but you didn't hear any of that. Creeping away. Oh no, I dropped something. Yeah, I'm just being silly at this point. <laughs> and pause it.